uh, they, they're paid to hate the Jews. Paid to hate the Jews. Now watch this, folks. This is crazy. Terrorists responsible for the murder of two Israeli families and two rabbis got more than 10 million shekels each from the Palestinian Authority. So translate that, did the calculator. They got paid over $3 million apiece for killing the Jews. This is what's going on. A 19-year-old, uh, Omar Abed, was convicted of murdering three members of the Solomon family in their home and is expected to be paid a pension totaling $3,485,812. Uh, Kareem Lufti Fati Rezik, a gunman uh, who killed two other Jewish people, shot them dead in front of their children in Samaria, is expected to be paid a total of $3,106,367. They're becoming millionaires for killing the Jewish people. That's what's going on, folks. And you think, well, where are they getting this money? Here's what's sick. They're getting the bulk of it from the aid that is being sent there, including the aid from the UN. And who's the biggest financial supporter of the UN? Us. And they're using that money to make millionaires out of people who kill Jews. Oh, by the way, if that person dies, you think, well, they, they didn't get the money. No, they give it to their family. It's a guaranteed payout. So then you can see families encouraging, hey, if you go kill a Jew, we can become millionaires. This is nuts. It's happening right now. In fact, a boss said this. He said they will not stop doing so. And I quote, he said, even if we are left with one penny, we are going to use it for paying of the salaries of the martyrs and the prisoners of war. And you wonder why there's a global anti-Semitism? They're making people millionaires to not just hate them, but kill them. The second one is, folks, people are being brainwashed to hate the Jews from we high, from kids, Right? And let me give, give you some still shots with kids. This is what's going on over there, right? Uh, not only do we have footage of children being brainwashed to hate the Jews at, quote, terror rallies. How would you like to have your kid a part of that program? Right? This is what's going on over there. But we even have, and I quote, how to stab a Jew video becoming a big hit on Palestinian social media. In fact, they even show the, the best places to stab a Jew. And the Jewish people, they're bad people. They're, this is what's going on, folks. This is crazy, okay? In fact, it's not just in the Palestinian area, uh, again, which we saw was not a country, it's not a people, but whatever. It's there, they're Arab refugees that were created by the Muslim communities. But in the U.K., they're promoting this in their textbooks. Quote, the U.K. is funding textbooks that teach children to become jihadists. And is it any surprise that a Palestinian teacher was teaching Muslim kids how to perform, listen, beheadings on their toys? This is, this is what's going on here. Another video showed, and listen, a child dressed as a jihadi beheading his teddy bear. And when the teddy bear, that's the actual photo, and when the teddy bear head was successfully removed, the child lifts his knife into the air and shouts, Allah Akbar. Now, speaking of kids, how would you like to have your kids, when they finish graduating uh, kindergarten, that this is their kindergarten ceremony? Watch this. This is actually... Uh, released on tape, and, this, and they've been doing this for a while. This was in 2018. This is a kindergarten graduation ceremony. And they're going in to get the Jew. ليش بدك تطعن اليهودي؟ لأنهم سرقوا أرضنا سرقوا أرضنا بدك تطعنيهم بإيش؟ 
يا قوية أنت إن شاء الله يا بابا إيش بتقولي لشباب الضفة؟ wonder why we're seeing a rise in anti-Semitism. Even kids are being brainwashed to not just hate the Jewish people, but to kill them. And the Bible says that at the halfway point of the seven-year tribulation, the Antichrist is going to do the unthinkable. He gives the order to go hunt them down and exterminate them. And you could see right now how much resistance